Okay, internet. Now, we've all seen Richard Browning flying around on his wonderful jet suit. But first, wants to have a go on that because I want to. I want to be able to do it. So I've got him here, live on my laptop. Yeah, that was much slicker than last time. We're gonna have a bit of a play, basically. And then, yeah, we'll see if we can pull yeah. off this slightly unusual tea-themed stunt. And I've been looking at some of the things that everyone asks about his jet suit, and I'm gonna try and relay that to him. And then we're gonna get him to do some stupid things, get him to have a bit of fun, and then see where we go. So, Richard, you ready? You're all strapped in. A ginger nut. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We should have talked about that before. Well, I can genuinely say I haven't practiced that. We've never done that before. Um, I just dragged my wife away from um, homeschooling our two children um, to do this. And uh, yeah, that's quite cool, isn't it? Really, it just, there you go, flying around eating the biscuit. Yeah, let's go for questions. And I'm going to steal a cup of tea that actually is a cup of tea. We had it in a thermos flask, so it is actually nice and warm. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Cool down a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead with questions. Yes. Right, and there's a couple of, uh, these are kind of like the obvious ones. If you were buying it, I suppose, as a suit, this mm. would be like its data sheet. What's the furthest you can go on one fuel? So, I mean, the suit I've got on now, uh, if you shove that full of fuel, um, you can fly for about four minutes. And if you, you know, I've done 85 miles an hour as the record, but let's say 60 miles an hour for four minutes, that's four miles you want. But it's mostly about really high speed maneuverability over water or over any kind of terrain. Cool. Um, in terms of how much fuel can you pack in it? Uh, this one will take about 20 litres. 20 litres. Mm. Can you show where the fuel tanks are in it? Yeah, within the boundaries of what this little screen is going to show. Um, so, in there. yeah, so if I, if I, my good wife can show everybody. It's so, engine and two fuel tanks. Two, two fuel tanks there and there. And that's the big engine and the engine housing in the middle. Cool. What does the whole thing weigh? Um, fueled up, it's about 30 kilos. So, what's that about? 50, 60 pounds, that kind of thing. I mean, and I've got the arms stowed, so my hands are free now. So, it's like wearing, it reminds me of when I was in the Royal Marines Reserve here, wearing this kind of weight. Have there been any incidents? Now, because I remember, I remember first seeing the video when it first came out, because it came out on April Fool's Day, didn't it? And yes. of course it was a massive conspiracy. Yeah. Is this real or not? Yeah, we had, we had uh, quite a few very small but quite funny often little falling over incidents and we've been collecting those and thanks to the virus I've been uh, going back through the archive and putting all those up on our YouTube channel as well. So there's even a, I mean there's many more parts to come, but a sort of part one fails video on there now. Um, so yeah. You've obviously not hurt yourself badly because you're still here talking to us and I've yep. seen you walk, you walk pretty straight yep. still. So. Yeah, pretty straight, yeah. Yep. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, you know. We've got that. You've not got that guy about in like long. <laughs> yeah, no, not yet. No, not not yet. And it's equally impressive that you're still able to walk and speak and use your hands as well, given all the things you got up to. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe we're just lucky. Uh, <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> yeah. Because you do sell them, don't you, for about three hundred grand. Yeah, I mean, our main our main thing is doing events, doing displays, um, building this race series. The big one's supposed to be in Bermuda in March. That's on pause for obvious reasons, but we will do it. Um, some military and special forces um, search and rescue stuff. But then it's training clients. We have loads of people to this very site here in the UK and another one in California uh, where people strap into this tether, which is you might have seen bits of truss around here. In fact, look, I'll just go and there you go. See, I'm in a big sort of truss structure. Um, there's, a, there's a zip wire and things like that. In fact, well, Colin, you, you know about this. You've been on it. Yeah. Um, and it means you can learn in a really safe, easy way. Uh, so we have lots of people come and learn and train with us. And in some extreme circumstances, they're so keen that they do want to have us buy, or sorry, build their own suit that they can buy. And yes, we have sold a couple, but it's not really our main aim. But, uh, no, it's not what you're out to do, is it? So, now on that thing, someone said, 
How long does it take to train someone? Well, the, the, the impossible sounding record is about three minutes. So yeah. it's a bit like watching children learn to ride a bike. And it's either a very stressed out child that's watched somebody fall off and hurt their knee and they're just stressing and they don't relax. Um, or it's the probably younger brother or sister of an older child who picks up the bike from the lawn and then cycles around and goes, oh, sorry, was I supposed to learn this? Because if you can, yeah. if you can learn something when you're really relaxed and when there's no pressure, you let your inner mind just work it out, like walking and running. That's a ridiculous feat of balance that we don't think about. And if so, some people are better, access, better at accessing that than others, people who do a lot of rollerblading, skateboarding, uh, even right up to flying helicopters and things, all of those things involve that part of your brain. So some people get it within minutes, other people, but most take a couple of days really it's very quick yeah. cool excellent all right richard well nice to talk to you have a nice weekend everybody and uh yeah when we yeah. do more of these if people want them yeah have... and once it's lockdown so we're all coming up again oh most, most definitely yeah absolutely absolutely thanks everybody cheers colin bye-bye bye-bye